Hi, my name is Amanda Zeeble. Welcome to my channel, Learning with the Word Nerd. Today, I want to tell you all about my classroom library giveaway. Here's how it works. Each week, I add a new First Chapter Friday video to my channel, and then after doing that for a whole year in December, I give away a copy of each of those books to a classroom as a mini classroom library. Um, it's my way of saying thanks for being here all year, thanks for listening to my videos, and hopefully we can spark some interest and in reading motivation in your students as well. And it's just great to like help out teachers because they're like my favorite humans. So um, I've been doing this for three years, but this year is going to be even bigger and better because I'm teaming up with Alec Ingold. He's a player from the Miami Dolphins, and we are going to be raising funds to hopefully gift even more libraries. For sure there's one, um, but maybe we'll be able to raise enough money to do two classrooms or three classrooms or four or five. Who knows? Who knows? Um, it's very exciting, and I'm so grateful for the opportunity um, to spread even more bookish joy uh, with the help of Alec. Uh, P.S. He's running for Walter Payton Man of the Year. Um, and you should totally vote for him because he's like the nicest guy and so generous. So I will put that link in the description box. Um, what I want to do here today is I've gotten the first shipment of books for that very first classroom library uh, from my friend Alex. She runs Birdie's Bookstore. That's who we're going to order all of the books from. Um, and she dropped off these books on my doorstep today. And so I just want to really quickly run through them and show you what books we're giving away in the classroom library. Um, and while you know that I could talk about all of them for a very long time, um, it would be a very long video if I waxed on poetically about why I love each of these. So I'm just going to pull them out one by one, tell you real quick why I love it or who I think might like it best in your classroom, and then we're going to move on. So um, let's just dig into box number one right here. <laughs> here we go. Okay. Um, First up is Letters from Rivka. If you like historical fiction or books told in letters, you are going to love this one. Next up is Mexi Kid by Pedro Martin. It is a graphic novel. It is funny, 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 and you learn some history and it will also tug on your heartstrings. Um, from the Desk of Zoe Washington by Janae Marks. This story is like as real as it gets. It is real life. It doesn't shy away from tough topics. Um, this, this girl, her dad uh, is in prison and she doesn't really know how she feels about that or how she feels about him and she starts writing him letters. Oh, it's so good. So good. Okay. Uh, Between Monsters and Marvels by Alyssa Wishingrad. This story makes you look at everything twice and the things that you think are good or the things that you think are bad, like maybe they're not. Maybe they're the other one and you totally need to read this book to figure out just like a new angle and lens on life. It's great. This one is a classic. Oh, I loved this book so much. And you can see the shiny Newberry metal on there. Oh, it's so pretty. Um, from the Mixed Up Files of Mrs. Bagazel E. Frank Weiler. This book was written in the 60s, you guys, and it is still a favorite uh, by E.L. Konigsberg. It's about two kids who run away from home, but they don't want to like live on the streets. They want to live in the fanciest place ever. So they go to the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York City, and they stay there for like two weeks, and they're like not caught, and it's awesome. Okay, uh, Uglies by Scott Westerfield is Westerfeld, there's no I. Um, it's a first book in a dystopian series about this group, this society, when kids turn 16, they uh, get this operation to make them beautiful. And everybody really, really, really wants it, except for maybe some kids don't. And then what happens? Oh, so good. Um, Talk Santa to me. I just added this to my channel uh, earlier, just last week. It's like, Hallmark Christmas movie in a book for teens. It's so witty. It's so funny. Um, fast paced. I loved it. <clears throat> Super quick, fast and easy read. Um, another oldie but a goodie with a with a Newberry medal. The Whipping Boy by Sid Fleischman. Um, kind of like a Prince and the Pauper situation uh, with a twist. Um, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Another classic. Actually, I didn't know this. It's the second book in the series, not the first. Um, and it's great. Oh, Percy Jackson, the Lightning Thief, another first in the series. Um, if you like books that have been turned into movies and you want to read the book first, this one is really great. And I remember when I was reading the first chapter on this channel earlier this year, I just, I was, I know that this book is so popular and it's like been so commercialized, but when I reread the first chapter, it just reminded me like, man, Rick Ryan is a great writer and this is an awesome book if you like adventure. If you like mythology, um, you're going to love this one. 
um this must just be like the series box because this is another first in the series this is for a little bit older audiences i would say seventh grade and up it's called shiver by maggie stiebotter she's one of my favorite authors on the planet and it's about this boy who um when it is cold and he shivers he turns into a werewolf but when it's summer he sheds his wolf skin and he gets to live as a human and he falls in love with a girl while he's in human form and he does not ever want to be a wolf again and oh it's so good and it takes place in Duluth one of my favorite places ever uh dear student is about a great girl who um wants to be the editor for her newspaper's dear student advice column um and all the things that happen before and after Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets this is book two in the series I did book one a couple of years ago and uh, I couldn't resist continuing with it so in this book two Harry is uh, confronting a danger that has come right to Hogwarts Kate hey, Camillo because of Winn-Dixie y'all I know that I've maybe shared the secret before with you but I I don't really like animals like at all um and hopefully you can still love me because all humans are different um but i even though i don't like animals and specifically not really dogs um i loved this book and you can see that lots of other people loved it too because it's got a newberry award and um newberry honor and it's great uh the best christmas pageant ever it's funny and it's actually coming up on my channel this week so uh look for that it will be added oh, throwing things <clears throat> the first rule of climate club is great because it talks about things that people aren't always willing to talk about and it gives you a guide for kind of how to i mean it's fiction it's not like a non-fiction guide but like it teaches you how to handle things that make people feel uncomfortable and i think that it that kids can learn a lot uh from this while experiencing the characters situations divergent another first in a series by veronica roth you can see that um it's also been made into a movie um if you like dystopian books, lots of action, hard choices, character drama, you will love this one. Evil is explains it all was a Newbery honor, I think this past year in 2023. Um, and it's a novel in verse. And again, it's one of those books that like tackles the hard stuff. It's not going to shy away from things like mental illness and depression and um, maybe even a little bit of self harm. Um, really great, really worthwhile read. <clears throat> Holes by Louis Sakar. Actually, my son told me that I needed to read this book because he and his class read it. And again, lots of other people agree. Newbery Award winner there, also made into a movie. I Am Malala. This is one of the only nonfiction books I did this year on my channel. I need to work on doing more of that. But it's about this girl named Malala who was shot in the head by the Taliban. And she survived and has gone on to do amazing things including winning the nobel peace prize she's the youngest person ever to do that and this is her life story and how she continues to make a difference in our world the inheritance games one of the best books that i read this year i really do think it's by jennifer lynn barnes it's the first in the series it is, has like one if not two love triangles if i'm remembering correctly it's kind of like a modern day western game with all sorts of puzzles regs to riches story um you're gonna you're gonna devour this one and then you're gonna want the next in the series boys without names if you like stories that take place in another country if you like interesting survival stories if you like stories that are about stories because stories are the best um my favorite quote in from any literature ever comes from this book and it says stories are my best friend because they never leave me and this book is amazing it will tug on your heartstrings it will keep the pages turning so great <clears throat> school for good and evil it's now on netflix by Soman chainani another first in the series another thing that makes you look kind of like we were talking about um between monsters and marvels that makes you look at something that you've seen a million times in your everyday life and you're like that is bad or that is good and maybe maybe it's not maybe you need to take a deeper look Oh, we we're just talking about the Weston game, another Newberry winner by Ellen Raskin. Hey, she's from Wisconsin, just like me and like Alec Ingold. Um, a mystery, lots of fun clues, lots of fun wordplay. Um, it holds up, even though it was written a really long time ago. Lifeboat 12. This is another book that I read because one of my sons recommended it to me. Uh, it is a novel in verse. It is fast paced. It is about kids being evacuated from London and shipped away, literally on a ship, 
um, to someplace safe away from the war and the bombs. And then um, their boat is bombed. And then, and then what happens? You're going to have to read it to find out. Um, we're getting to the bottom of this box, but don't worry. I have another one. Um, American Royals is another first in a series. It is following the story of like, what if George Washington wasn't a president? What if George Washington said, sure, I'd love to be king. And now it's in the 2000s, several hundred years later, and we have a monarchy and we're about to have our first queen. So good. Also like romance in here, but don't worry teachers, it's appropriate. Um, a Lady's Guide to Fortune Hunting is about a girl. She's got some sisters, she's got no parents and they got no money, but she is out to find a rich husband. And it's not because she's trying to be selfish. She's just trying to be practical and take care of the people in her life. So good. Finding Baba Yaga by Jane Yolen is another novel in verse. It is a twist on the Baba Yaga uh, Russian folk tale. Uh, it gives it a modern twist. And there are so many lovely lines in this book that just make my heart happy. It's real short, real quick read. Um, you're going to love it. Another one that my kids told me I had to read, uh, Greetings from Witness Protection by Jake Burt. Um, like a misfit character gets to be a hero and all sorts of like unexpected things happen. Um, and like, like, you know, those spy movies that you watch that you're like, wow, that could never happen in real life. Well, like this makes it feel like it could happen in real life. And it is great. A Place to Hang the Moon is maybe the loveliest book that I read this year. Like of all the books in the box that would make my heart happy. It's this one because it's about finding a home and it's about books helping you find your way there. And um, yeah, it's good. Ode to a Nobody. This book has my favorite cover of the year. Look at it. Isn't that just so great? I love it so much. Also a novel in verse about a girl who's trying to find her way and like maybe she doesn't want to be the person she's been up until now. Maybe she wants to be somebody different, but how does she do that? All right, last book in this box, Twilight by Stephanie Meyer. Again, it's been out for a while, but it's worth the read if you like uh, romance, if you like uh, supernatural situations like vampires and werewolves um, and love triangles, you will like this book. All right, that's the end of box one. But don't worry, I got another one. Again, all of these books are coming to us from uh, Birdie's Books. Uh, they are my favorite local indie bookstore, and they happen to be in my same hometown, which is great. Um, Alex is giving us all sorts of cool things, including uh, some free bookmarks and a Birdie's bookstore mug, because books are better with coffee. Don't do that, kids. Just the teachers. All right. This, I know I said there was another book that was like my favorite for the whole year. Um, but this one ranks right up there too. It's called Nowhere Boy by Katherine Marsh. And it's just, um, it takes a story that we've maybe heard before, like kind of like a World War II Jewish refugee story, but it brings it into the modern day. And it's like things that are really happening that we like maybe don't know about that we as Americans have not been exposed to this kind of a story, but it's about a boy, American boy who's living in Belgium and he discovers, um, a Muslim refugee living in his basement and what he needs to do after that. And I just, just adored it. Speaking of books that take place in other countries, um, A First Time for Everything by Dan Santat was fantastic. Um, Dan, as a 13 year old, goes and tours all over Europe. This book won the National Book Award. It's a graphic novel. Um, I remember reading this at the College Baseball World Series. So that's what's the first thing that comes to mind when I am when I'm looking at it, but um, a really great coming of age story that takes place in another country, multiple other countries. So it's cool to see all sorts of different landmarks and like famous sites um, through the eyes of 13 year old Dan. It's a memoir. So it's a true story based on things that really happened to him. Stealing Home by Jay Torres is another graphic novel about the Japanese internment of uh, American citizens, not a, a very lovely moment in our history as a country. Um, but something that we need to look at, something that we need to know about. And this book does a great job of showing us what it was like, um, of teaching us and, um, definitely worth your time to read. Okay. This book, The Lost Year 
is written by the same author as Catherine Marsh. And I think it's kind of cool that they like match. They're kind of like siblings. Um, and I can't even really tell you anything about this book because I haven't read it yet. It's going to be the last book that I share on my channel this week um, or this this year, this 2023 year. But I loved this one so much that I bought it without and, and, and I'm going to put it on the channel without reading it because um, I just trust her as a storyteller so much. <clears throat> uh, Ender's Game. This is another super old book, you guys. And I can't believe that I was uh, almost 40 years old before I read it because it feels like lots of schools read it. Um, but if you like video games, you're going to love this book. The Hunger Games, another first in a series. Um, dystopian, lots of action, love triangle, um, a movie connected to it. Lots of reasons to read this. My eighth grader is currently reading this uh, at school and totally sucked in. Uh, Drums, Girls, and Dangerous Pie by Jordan Sonnenbluck. If you like a book that's going to make you cry your eyeballs out, you should read this one. The House Swap. So um, it's kind of like a play on the whole idea of like the parent trap. You know, um, like you guys probably saw the Lindsay Lohan version, not the Haley Mills version. Both are good. Um, but instead of swapping parents, these girls swap houses. And... Um, what happens next is oh it'll suck you in it's great it's by yvette clark um the sisterhood of the traveling pants i had to look twice because this is not the cover that i am used to but it's by amber shares and it's about four friends and like their ultimate friendship and the ultimate test to their friendship and what they do when they have to separate and then what they do when they get back together uh it's the first in a series of four four first in a series of four i've read them all but it was decades ago and um i love them they're so great good difference is a novel in verse by meg eden kuyat and um it is about a girl who is different she has autism and she knows that she's different but she doesn't want everybody else to know that she's different or at least as different as she feels that she is from them um and she's pretty good at covering it up until something happens um and you got to read the book find out what that thing is Swim Team is a graphic novel. I have probably more graphic novels on my channel this year than I ever have before. And um, I'm so happy about that. They, we're living in a golden age of graphic novels and they are an amazing way to tell a story, um, an immense amount of work. Um, and so that's why we don't get them as often from our creators as we'd like to have them. But this book, Swim Team, is realistic fiction about a girl who's moved to a new place and it also is about the history of African-American and Black swimmers. Um, so not only are you experiencing the main character's journey, but you're also like seeing the historical scope of this sport. Um, it reminds me a lot of Dragon Hoops. If you liked Dragon Hoops, that was on my channel last year, you will, you will really like Swim Team. Change the Game by Colin Kaepernick, another graphic novel. And this is a graphic novel memoir about Colin's life. And how he, hey, guess what? He's from Wisconsin too. Best people are from Wisconsin. Um, how he started life and how he got to the NFL. It's a really great book, a really insightful um, to see what his life was like. Oh, both Colin and Alec, they're adopted. Very cool. New Kid by Jerry Craft. You can see the Newbery Award on here. This is another graphic novel. This is another memoir. Um, wait, no, it's not a memoir. It just takes pieces of experiences that Jerry has had and he has turned it into this book about a kid who loves art and um, is going to this new school and it's really great. I loved it. Another recommendation from one of my own boys. Um, global. If I had to pick a book for any teacher to teach, it would, but from my list this year, if you're going to teach any book, like you're going to add a new one into your curriculum teachers, it is this book. It is fantastic. It's by Owen Colfer. Um, and it's about two kids and their journeys, um, their parallel stories being told. One is in a very warm climate. One is in a very cold climate. And they're sharing how their worlds are being impacted by global warming. And um, the truth is that global warming affects all of us. But truly, it has the most negative effect on children. And this book showcases that. You can not only learn a lot, but you will be sucked in to the two characters' stories. Um, the graphic novel version makes it, like, go so fast. But um, once, like, you'll read this possibly in a single setting. Once you start, you won't be able to put it down. Your kids will love it. 
And then last but not least, it probably feels fitting that we're ending with this one um, because it is almost uh, holiday Christmas time. It's Eight Tiny Reindeer. It's a graphic novel and it is an advent calendar adventure. So just like we count down to Christmas um, with, you know, the little chocolates or little stories or whatever, however you do that at your house, um, this is a graphic novel advent calendar story about Eight Tiny Reindeer. It was originally a podcast turned into a graphic novel. Um, and that's it. Okay, those are almost all of the 52 books. I have a few that I'm still waiting for. Um, a Work in Progress by Jarrett Lerner and Big Tree by Brian Selzner um, that haven't come yet. But I'm giving all these away and I want you to win and I want them to get into the hands of your students. Um, so enter. I'll put the link in the bottom. And um, if you're feeling generous and you want to donate, um, because hopefully Alec and I can raise a lot of money, and then we'll be able to buy even more classroom libraries and give them away to even more teachers and classrooms and students. I will put that link down there as well. Thank you so much for visiting my channel, Learning with the Word Nerd. If this is the first time that you're here, welcome. Uh, we do this bookish thing like every week. So stick around, subscribe, like the video. Um, I've got another, yeah, all the things. Stay, be here, be bookish with us. I will see you again next time. Happy reading. If you want to see the video that Alec and I made about this giveaway, click the link in the description box. Now I know, even on its own, winning 52 books for your classroom library is pretty amazing, but I've got even more prizes associated with this giveaway. First up, the complete First Chapter Friday bundle. For each First Chapter Friday video on my channel, I've got a student engagement worksheet to go along with it. These help students focus and stop them from zoning out when the video is up on the screen. It makes these great videos even more valuable. Next up, a one-hour planning time with me. I'll meet with you and even your team via Zoom to answer questions, make book recommendations, help you implement my resources, make a First Chapter Friday semester plan, brainstorm new engagement strategies for you and your students, your current curriculum, or anything else that might be helpful. If you're looking to level up what you're doing in class or shake it up or make things new and exciting, this is going to be an awesome opportunity. And finally, I'm going to toss in some bookish swag because who doesn't love stickers and bookmarks? Okay, that's it. All that's left to do is enter. Click the link in the description box so you and your class can be eligible to win this amazing prize package. Thanks so much for visiting my channel, Learning with the Word Nerd. I hope you'll come back again. You can find more great content from me at these places. Happy reading. I'll see you again next time.